Peas and farmers in Zimbabwe depend entirely on rain-fed agriculture, a situation that makes agriculture in rural livelihoods vulnerable to climate change. Adaptation strategies assist smallholder farmers to achieve their food, income and livelihood security and it allows them to maintain livelihoods in the face of climate change. Rainfall has decreased over the last 30 years. Such changes have reduced agricultural productivity and in response, communities have developed multiple adaptation strategies such as harnessing social capital, crop and livelihood diversification, engaging in small businesses and water harvesting for livestock keeping. We are trying to mitigate the effects of uh, these hazards uh, by, by supporting uh, inputs, by supporting genetics, and by supporting animal uh, uh, health uh, materials. Diversification on species that are raised by these communities. In other words, and uh, in that light, we are talking about harvesting feed from the local areas, and then also collecting some animal food materials that are locally found. And then uh, adding value to some of these materials using knowledge and skills that have been developed by research, uh, mainly research institutions nationally. Small-scale farmers are responding to climate change by diversifying their range of crops and adapting to short-season varieties and small grains. Drought-resistant crops that include sorghum, rapoko and finger millet are most favored by most peas and farmers. Growing of small grains and drought-resistant varieties is one of the local adaptation strategy to the impact of climate change as rural farming is now affected by unreliable rains. It also ensures that under stressful environments, households have sufficient grains to survive. Introduction of uh, small grains, introduction of new crops that are adaptable, uh, introduction of, um, uh, of livestock and breeding programs, and also water development components uh, that are entirely meant to build community resilience. Communities have not only resorted to crop diversification to deal with the effects of climate change, but also resorted into livelihood diversification. Livelihood diversification is now an important aspect that minimizes the effects of climate change on food security and becoming an important adaptation strategy. This diversification is solidly anchored on migration. Other countries that have moved to urban places, mainly into vending and entrepreneurial activities as a way of adapting to the climate uh, change, as a way of uh, adapting to the changes that have happened in the past several years of drought. Other community members have resorted to artisanal mining, although they know very well that the activity is illegal and causes environmental degradation. Cattle ranging is another adaptive measure used by communities, strengthened by fodder community production. Communities also use concentrated farming as an adaptive measure. This is called Pfumvudza. The Pfumvudza plot is so small and compact as to warrant very low labor costs as the family can provide the necessary labor. More importantly, should there be erratic rain, the plot is so small that it can be irrigated using simple water buckets. This gives food security to families. Zimbabwe's resilient communities also use creative water harvesting practices, including creating temporary walls on riverbanks in order to store water when the river dries up. They also mulch their garden plants to ensure that the soil does not dry up too fast. The government and civil society organizations have worked really hard to equip communities to adapt to the new climatic realities. But there is more that needs to be done and there are resources that are needed in Zimbabwe desperately.